What's up guys? Welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Olivia Ostrom and if you're new to my channel, hi, welcome, excited to have you here. In today's video, we are chatting all things postpartum. I am just a few days away from being four months postpartum, which is crazy. I cannot believe how quickly a time has gone by. If you're a new mom or even if you're a mom, I'm sure you feel the same way. Everyone always says that these years fly by and oh my gosh, they do. To start off today's video, I just want to say that every pregnancy and postpartum journey is just so unique and so individualized that I don't want you comparing your journey to my journey because like I said, everyone's experience and everyone's body is just so, so unique. So um, I cre am creating this video because I just want to encourage you and motivate you and hopefully just inspire you to know that you can get to where you want to be, but also know that I am not where I want to be. I have come a long way and I'm proud of how far I've come, but I'm not where I want to be quite yet. And I think that's one of the beautiful things about like creating goals and always wanting to like be a better version of yourself and be a healthier version of yourself is that you, there isn't necessarily an end goal. It's just your goals shift as you move along in your fitness journey. So I just want to remind you to not compare yourself to anyone else's experience or journey because yours is your own and that is such a beautiful thing. When it comes to your postpartum journey or your postpartum weight loss journey, there's no quick fix. There's no magic pill. If there was, everyone would have their dream body. So I just wanted to share with you my experience and kind of things that I've been doing to help myself move along. was not to lose weight as quickly as possible. My goal was truly just to start to feel more comfortable in my own skin and start to eat healthier, be more active, be more mindful around the thoughts that were going through my head. And through doing those things, it allowed me to progress to a place where I am feeling really good in my own skin right now. But I just want you to know that my initial goal wasn't let's just lose this weight as quick as possible because I absolutely still wanted to do it in a really healthy way. Through this um, video, I just wanted to chat about like three different kind of phases of like my timeline. And that was like before I got pregnant, during my pregnancy and my postpartum journey. So no matter where you are in your journey, whether you plan to get pregnant in the future or you had a baby five, 10, whatever years ago, I want you to be able to know that it doesn't matter where you're at, right? Right now you can get to where you want to be and I just want to share my whole experience with you so you can really get the full picture so first things first let's chat about what I was kind of doing pre-pregnancy so if you guys have watched my YouTube channel or followed me on Instagram for a while now you know that pre-pregnancy for me I was pretty active I usually worked out about five times a week I do my best to fuel my body with just wholesome nutritious foods majority of the time but I also am a big believer in balance so I love eating those yummy foods because I honestly couldn't live without them, but I want you to know that I did live like a pretty active lifestyle and pretty healthy lifestyle overall before I even got pregnant. Just like being the healthiest and best version of yourself can definitely help you at any point in your journey, but especially in your postpartum journey. So no matter where you are in your own journey, just make sure that you're always doing your best to just take care of yourself. And it's good for you, but it's also good for the baby. So as I tra transitioned into my pregnancy, not that much changed in the beginning. Of course, if you watched my some of my pregnancy videos, you know that in my first trimester, I was really sick. That was kind of like a different stage of my pregnancy because I just was not feeling good at all and I was basically just trying to stay alive every single day because I was pretty nauseous. But as I moved throughout my pregnancy and I started to feel better, I really continued with my healthy habits that I followed before I even got pregnant. I still did my best to fuel my body. Um, I did definitely give in to more cravings overall, but I was still super mindful of the nutrients that were going into my body. It's so important to make sure that you're being mindful of how you're fueling your body. And a lot of times when people are pregnant, they think that they need to eat for 
for two people and that's definitely not the case when you are pregnant majority of doctors suggest eating a few hundred calories more than what you're currently eating that gives the baby enough nutrients and nutrition to grow so you don't need to eat twice as much food that is definitely a myth um, but some people during their pregnancy that's what they choose to do and if you want to that's totally cool you treat your pregnancy however you want to but I'm just sharing with I'm just sharing with you what worked for me and kind of what's helped me get to where I am today. During my pregnancy, I also worked out. I was really active in my pregnancy basically until the very end. I started having extreme lower back pain. That definitely hindered my workouts. So I worked out around about like four days a week throughout my entire pregnancy, I'd say on average. And um, although my workouts changed a little bit, I started lifting lighter weights. I stopped doing things like HIIT and ab workouts as I transitioned through my pregnancy. I still was really, really active. I still tried my best to get steps in and I was just always mindful of how much I was moving my body. Make sure, of course, you always talk to your doctor and make sure that you're cleared and all of those things um, because every pregnancy is unique. But for me, I was luckily able to work out throughout my entire pregnancy but overall I just tried to fuel my body properly and I tried to stay as active as possible through my pregnancy now my pregnancy definitely played a huge role in my postpartum journey because of the fact that I was so mindful of how I was feeling my body but also active during my pregnancy it allowed my postpartum journey to go so much smoother I knew during my ninth month of pregnancy that my goal moving forward through my postpartum journey was not to lose as much weight as possible or to get my body back my goal was honestly just to feel comfortable in my own skin and that was like a huge mindset piece that I had to work through. I sometimes put a lot of pressure on myself because I show up online and I show workouts and I show my body and sometimes it makes me feel like I have to look a certain way and that's something that I just wanted to release myself of that pressure because moving in a postpartum journey you don't know how your body is going to respond or where you're going to be months down the road so I really tried to shift my mindset away from focusing on getting my body back to really just feeling comfortable in my own skin at all stages. So mindset was one of the biggest pieces just because you want to make sure that your mindset is like wired for success and if you're being super negative and hard on yourself that can directly affect your progress in your journey. So really try to pay attention to the thoughts that are running through your head. Try to shift them to make them more positive because it will make the world of difference. So the next thing that I focused on was food. I went back to the basics. I really tried to follow the 80-20 rule. During my pregnancy, I allowed myself to cave into more cravings and things like that. And I was okay with that because I mean, you're only pregnant once or a few times in your life so might as well enjoy it and then when I was postpartum I got back to the 80-20 rule so 80% of the time I was eating like wholesome nutritious foods and then the other 20% of the time I just allowed me myself to eat yummy foods that are good and that balance really helps me stay on track. I mentioned in my pregnancy I was eating a few hundred extra calories so I was eating in a calorie surplus during postpartum I just got back to what I was eating previous to my pregnancy and so I dropped a few hundred calories again and that's just because I didn't need to be eating in a calorie surplus anymore I wanted to kind of put my body back into a little bit of a deficit and one thing that really helped me was intermittent fasting I've done this so many times in my life um, intermittent fasting works really well for me and my body because I'm not a person who really likes to eat in the morning and I don't know if you guys would like to hear like a whole video on intermittent fasting but like I'd love to share about it because I really enjoy it and it's definitely not for everyone but it works well for me. It helps me just eat fewer calories in a day because my eating window isn't so big. So that helped me kind of transition from eating in a calorie surplus to going into a little bit more of a deficit. Now, another thing I want to mention kind of in the food category is drinking water is a game changer. If you increase how much water you're drinking in a day, your appetite is going to go down. Um, a lot of times we mistake hunger for thirst so make sure that you increase how much water you're drinking in a day i know that i wasn't drinking enough water because i hated having to go to the bathroom every three minutes and if you've been pregnant you know the struggle but i know that i wasn't consuming as much water as i should have been or as much water as i did before i got pregnant so i really started to focus on drinking more water again and that helped me big time so really make sure that you're increasing how much water you're drinking i say at least two to three liters 
liters per day. I even try to go above three liters per day. All right, now that we've chatted about mindset, food, let's talk about working out. So obviously when you first have a baby, you aren't supposed to work out for majority of people. It's about six weeks, but you also want to make sure that you're cleared by your doctor before you get back into working out. And for me, I got cleared at six weeks. So in the beginning stages of my postpartum journey, being active really wasn't a priority for me. It wasn't until weeks four or five, I started walking and then week six is when I got cleared and I started working out. When I started working out, I knew that I really wanted to get back into it and because I didn't work out too much in month nine of my pregnancy and then of course the six weeks after I didn't work out I had like lost a lot of like my muscle mass and my physique had really changed so um, I basically was starting from the beginning again which was pretty cool that I got to like challenge myself in ways I haven't been able to challenge myself in years so I started out really lightweight exercises and I just started slowly implementing workouts into my week I started out with two workouts workouts my first week I was cleared and then I did two week workouts the following week. I slowly increased the amount of workouts I was doing each week as I got more comfortable and just as I got stronger. And for a really long time I was just lifting body weight or super light weights like 5 pounds, 10 pounds and I wasn't lifting much more than that. I was doing my best and working towards getting my workout split to where I was like pre-pregnancy and working out five times a week but I knew it was going to take time to get there so I just did it in a really slow way that made me feel comfortable and and that never made me feel like I was pushing myself too hard. So even now I'm four months postpartum, I'm not lifting the weight that I was lifting before I got pregnant, but that's okay and I'm okay with it. I guess we're also in a unique situation with working out from home, but even if we were working out in a gym, I don't know if my body would be where I was pre-pregnancy. I feel like I would still need a little bit more time just because like I said, I was basically starting from the bottom, but um, staying active and getting back into working out is really important. and even if you're years postpartum right now or months postpartum, no matter where you're at in your journey, you basically just have to start. And maybe that's starting with just one workout this week and then next week add in an additional workout. You don't need to go like from zero to a hundred and just start with five workouts each week because that's not realistic and you need to kind of meet your body where you're at and slowly progress into getting to where you want to be. So honestly, my biggest tip is that you just have have to get started. Now, working out is important, but fueling your body is even more important. Make sure that you're paying attention to how you're fueling your body. If you don't know, like, how you can be better with your nutrition. I challenge you to try tracking your foods in my fitness pal and just seeing where you're at. Once you start tracking your foods and you can actually look at like a food journal of everything that you've eaten that day, it allows you to just see where there could potentially be room for improvement. And with the nutrition, one of my biggest things is that you need to have balance nutrition because balance is going to allow you to do this day after day and not feel like you're falling off the bandwagon every other day. So, so that's my journey and that's kind of what I've been doing and what's been working well for me. Like I said, there's no like magic secret and there's no magic pill. You just have to be really dedicated to the process of really wanting to make a change and you will get there, but it takes time. It's not something that just happens overnight. I am four months postpartum and I'm still not where I want to be. I've come a long way and I'm really, really proud of the progress that I have made, but I still have a long way to go. Just remember, don't compare yourself to anyone else's journey because they're all unique, they're all different, and they're all so beautiful. And please do not feel the pressure to have to lose weight after having a baby. There is no time frame of how quickly this needs to happen. Do what feels good for you and your body. The most important thing is to like respect your body. You performed an absolute miracle. So there's no rush to get back to your old body or anything like that. I actually hate when people say that because you aren't ever going to get your body back. You're a new version of yourself because you performed a miracle. So just if you want to make a change, if you're ready to make a change, just try to be a little bit better than you were last week or yesterday and you will see changes. And just remember that you are somebody's goals. No matter where you're at in your journey, there's somebody out there who looks up to you and I guarantee you there is many people out there who look up to you. So um, I hope you guys found this video helpful. I just wanted to share my experience in my postpartum journey and kind of what's been working for me and has gotten me to where I'm at today. So if you guys are in your postpartum journey, I'd love 
to hear where you're at and where you want to be. Um, leave a comment down below and thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, I'd love for you to hit the thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Anytime you guys like or subscribe, it helps me out so much. So thank you, thank you. I hope you enjoyed watching and I will see you guys